Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm coming at you with my very first favorites video. It's February favorites. I'm so excited to share with you all what I've been loving this month. Um, I won't keep you too long. This is actually my second time refilming because the first time I didn't realize that my dog was chewing on her bone and it really sounded disgusting and I just didn't think it's something I could cover up. So we're doing this again. So I'm going to make it fairly short. The first time around was like 20 minutes. I'm not trying to keep you guys here for 20 minutes. So let's make this quick. First thing out of the gate is a foundation. It's one that I loved before and I'm loving again. Um, if you have it in your collection, definitely pull it out because I don't think you can buy it anymore, which kind of makes me want to not put it in here, but I have been loving it and I want to tell the truth. Um, but it's my Sonia Kashuk Soft Matte, um, Soft Focus Satin Matte Foundation. I love this. My bottle is filthy. Sorry, don't mind me. Um, love, love, love this. I've been wearing it quite a bit this whole month. And if you have this in your collection and kind of forgot about it, definitely pull it out again. Give it another shot. You'll love it too. So keeping in that same lines of like foundation and bases is a concealer. And I've been loving my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer again. Um, the weather here in the Midwest has been really dry and cold. And then the next day it's raining and hot. So my skin can't keep up. My under eyes have been dry, so I've pulled out this bad boy again. Mine is in the shade Fair, and I've been loving it. I feel like it's really hydrating, great coverage. It's a cult classic. Everyone loves it. If you haven't tried it, try it. You won't be sorry. Okay, um, eyeshadow. Now, this is a look. I have two different palettes that I have used consistently throughout the whole month of February because I've been really into springy kind of eyeshadow, really light and bright and... Um, you know, I'm just, I'm so ready to jump on spring that I just can't stay away from those pretty pastels. Now, the first one is one that's also very loved on YouTube. I think a lot of people have this. It is the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells. Love, love, love this palette. The only downside that is this is the old one and it doesn't have that matte shade, so I have to pull out another matte. I honestly just grab any palette that's close by and use a brown transition shade in the crease, but love this palette. If I'm running late or just want a really simple eye because I don't feel like doing my makeup, this is what I go to because it looks gorgeous every time and it's so easy. No muss, no fuss. Love it. If you haven't tried walking on eggshells and you like kind of that pinky champagne lid color, get it. It's wonderful. Like I said, the new floor pans they have have a matte transition, so even better. Now, if I wasn't wearing that, I was going for a whole purple eye. I mentioned this palette in my last video. Some of you might be able to guess. It is the Milani Plum Basics palette. I love this. I talked about how much I love it in that um, top five palettes video. But again, I had to include it in my favorites because I've been using it so much. I mean, it has, um, it has a matte purple and it also has like a shimmery purple. So you can just really get that outer V really purpley and smoky, but really pretty. It blends beautifully. Um, and again, I can do that purple um, on my eyelid or I can do like the pink glittery champagne color. Um, sometimes I'll go in with like another lavender, like bright lavender shadow on my lid. But for the most part, I just reach for this. I love it. It's wonderful. If you haven't tried this, um, Milani palette or just like their everyday eyes palettes try them out I know everyone's obsessed with those brand new ones that they just came out with that are like $20 and it's wonderful I have that as well love it but if you haven't tried these smaller palettes try them they're great they have warm tones they have mattes they have um, like an everyday basics they have this plum shade they have one with like more pops of color like a royal blue so definitely check these out I think they're eight or nine dollars like at Walmart Pick one up, the button that looks best to you. You'll love it. I promise. Try it out. Okay, keep it along the same line of eyes. I have an eyeliner and a mascara. This is one that I have revisited and been loving. It's my Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen. I love this. Everyone knows it's a dupe for Kat Von D. I have been using this for years and years and years, well before I knew Kat Von D existed. Um... I love this. This is in the deep brown shade. I also have it in black. I just reach for deep brown a little bit more because I think it's just a little bit softer, not quite as intense, but I love this. It makes, you know, winged liquid eyeliner just so easy to apply. It's wonderful. If you haven't tried these, get them. You'll love it, I promise. And it's half the price of Kat Von D. I mean, I love that too. I'm not saying that. I own the Kat Von D tattoo liner as well. 
but i also love this and i don't think the kat von d tattoo liner comes in brown so i'm always reaching for physicians formula tell me if i'm wrong if they do have it in brown let me know i want to check it out but i love 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 this next is a mascara that i didn't know i needed in my life even though i had it in my life and i'm really happy i discovered it this is the Ciate London Wonderland Mascara, and mine is small because it, I think I got this in an Ipsy subscription bag several months ago, and it's just one that I kind of threw in the back of my mascara drawer, hadn't touched it, and randomly reached in and said, what mascara can I use today? I want to use something new. Maybe I'll find something I love, and I did. I love this. It's wonderful. I've already decided that once I run through a few more mascaras, this is the next one I'm purchasing because I think it's like $22 or something. I looked it up online and it's it's not a cheap mascara, but it's so good. Um, now the wand really reminds me of the Better Than Sex mascara, except that this is smaller. And the formula is not as wet, so that's why I really like it. I feel like the bristles are more well-defined, so it really combs through those lashes really well. When I use this, now nine times out of 10, I have two or more mascaras on my eyes. Today, I have two on. When I use this, I only need this mascara. I love it. It's so great. If you like that really fanned out, fluffy, but voluminous, lengthening look, I mean, that's what everyone wants, right? I get it with this. This is the only mascara that I have to use. I'm definitely repurchasing. It has quickly become a favorite. And if you haven't tried it, try it. If you can get your hands on this, definitely, definitely, definitely try it out. I think it's for sure worth the price. I've already decided like, yes, hands down, I'm handing over my $20. I'm getting this mascara. It's so good. I really, really love it. So definitely check it out if you're in the market for new mascara and can afford the price tag. But if you can, it's really good. Okay. Um, lastly, let's see. Okay. I think that's everything for makeup. So we'll do my hair product. Now, this is something that I use pretty much every single day. Honestly, the only times I don't use it is just because I was in a rush and I totally forgot. Um, my hair is really fine, but I do have a lot of it, but it is fine, so it doesn't look super thick. And I feel like it also does kind of lay flat against my head, so I'm always looking for volume. I found this because I got my hair done at Beauty Brands a few months back and the lady there used it on me and I fell in love. I immediately knew right then I have to buy this product. It's wonderful. I'm going to continue to repurchase. Haven't found anything else like it. And it is the Kenra Platinum Dry Texture Spray Texture Defining Spray in number six. I lost my cap, but I love this stuff. It's so good. You spray it in your roots, kind of jizz up your hair. And I mean, I mean, look at that. It just stays. It just stays. Now we don't want it to stay like that because that looks ratchet, but you get my point. You just scrunch your fingers in there and next thing you know, you got volume. It's like magic. So if you need some volume in your life, check this out. I think it's a little pricier too, like $22. But if you can afford it and you need some, some volume, this is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful dry texture spray. I love it. It's going to be a favorite in my drawer for a long time until something else somehow pops into my life that I love more, if it's even possible. Right now, I'm not sure because I'm having a love affair with it. It's so good. I love it. Anyways, okay. Next thing, let's see. We'll do my clothing items next and then my two moments of the month. So my first clothing item is from Target. I mean, who, I mean, what clothing isn't from Target? Everyone loves it. I only got this like maybe two weeks ago, but I've already worn it twice. Already know I love it and I'm going to continue to love it. And it's my Gilmore Girls t-shirt. I just love this. Gilmore Girls is my all-time favorite show. I've seen it front to back so many times. It's one of those ones where I can just, you know, pop in the middle of a season and just continue to keep watching. I have it on the background when I clean. I know so many of the lines. I mean, I love it. Let me know down below if you're Team Jess. Team Dean, Team Logan, let me know who you are. I'm not revealing who I am yet. Honestly, there are some days where I'm not sure which team I'm on, but if you have a team, let me know because I love Gilmore Girls. And I just love that this shirt has their logo that's like on the TV show. I love that it's in that font. I think it was only $12 for this t-shirt. It's so soft. I love the color. I love that it's weathered. And Gilmore Girls, come on. I had to get it. I didn't have a choice. I love it. Let me know if you love Gilmore Girls too. We can bond over that. I love it. Okay, last um, clothing item is so, so random. I actually wore it in one of my previous videos. Um, 
this is just something I had to mention because again, so random, but I just love it. It is my comfy sweatshirt, Sherpa lined, um, kind of jacket, cuddly, sweatshirty, whatever you want to call it. Um, I got this randomly at JCPenney on the clearance rack in the athletic section for $11. I needed something to be able to pop on over my clothes in my apartment because it's freaking cold here. My insulation is terrible and I'm just cold all the time. So this is a really, really great piece that I've come to love. I wear it almost every single day. I really don't leave the apartment in it because I mean, it's not the cutest thing in the world. It just sort of hangs. I mean, it's okay. I'd go to Walmart, I'd go to Target, you know, I'd go pick up food somewhere, but I'm not like making a cute outfit out of it, if you know what I mean. But it's got pockets and it's just thick sweatshirt material with that Sherpa lined um, front. And I just love it. It's so cozy. It keeps me warm when it's cold. So if you happen to go into your local JCPenney and find this on the clearance rack, pick it up. They had other colors. I just went with the gray because I felt like it was really neutral, but so comfy, so soft. If I can find it on their website, I'll link it below. I'm not sure if I can, but I will definitely try. Okay, lastly are my two favorite moments of the month. Now, this is something that was really unusual for me, but I love that it happened this way. I went to two concerts two weeks in a row two country concerts two weeks in a row. The first that I went to was, I even have my ticket stub. I, I kept my ticket because I just, I love having these things. I went to the Alan Jackson Honky Tonk Highway tour with my parents. Um, I saw that they were coming to the Kansas City area and I told my dad, you have to get this for mom. She's gonna love it. She'll love seeing him. And then I said, you don't mind if I tag along, do you? And he said, of course not. So I was the third wheel on my parents' Christmas date and we went and saw Alan Jackson. He was amazing. If you love country music, you know he's wonderful. That deep voice, his classic music, oh my gosh, so good, so much fun, loved it. Okay, now the second concert I went to was the one I was most excited for, and this was the Brad Paisley concert. Pretty sure my dog ate the corner of this. She's a mess. But I saw Brad Paisley, and what was even better was that I saw him up close and personal. I stood in the pit. We got there early enough that I was literally touching the stage. I could have reached out and grabbed his leg. I was literally that close. He touched my hand. I totally grabbed his finger. It was kind of awkward at the time, but it happened so fast that it really wasn't awkward, but I touched his hand. It was a magic, magic moment. I'm still on that high from that concert. It was so, so, so much fun. I love seeing him up close. He is my all time favorite. I think he's so stinking cute and his music is amazing. I love all of his songs. He's a great entertainer, amazing guitar player. If you love country music, let me do know down below, you know, who your favorite artist is. If you also love Brad, tell me, um, you know, what your favorite song is. I have several, but oh my gosh, I can't believe it. That was just two weeks ago now that I went to that concert and it was so much fun. I had so much fun. My sister-in-law went, went, can't talk. My sister-in-law went with me and it was just amazing. I had the best time. Now I do have one unfavorite. This will probably make most of you laugh and it's not a physical thing, but I'm pretty sure I broke my toe on my pug. Yeah, you heard me right. I think I broke my toe on my pug. Now I'm not sure if it was 100% broken because I didn't go to the doctor because they can't do anything for a freaking toe it's a toe and I didn't want that stupid fee associated with it. You know, I'd walk in for them just to say, yep, yeah, it's broken or no, it's not. And then I'm charged, you know, hundred something dollars to go see the doctor. So I wasn't doing that, but I was late one morning getting up for work and I was like, oh no, Francis, you have to get outside. So I'm trying to hurry her out of my bedroom and I hadn't put on my glasses. It was still dark in the room. I couldn't see. And I guess she decided she was just going to stop in the doorway. And while that happened, my pinky toe, basically like her foot went inside my pinky toe like this. Like it's like I walked along and it just went like this. Let me tell you, it freaking hurt. And at first I thought, oh my gosh, ow. Like, and I was like, Francis, dang it. And I was like yelling at her and I was just like so frustrated that I'm running late and I ran into my dog, but I don't think much of it. You know, you stub your toe, you keep going. Well, I took her outside and I was like, oh my gosh, it really hurt to put my shoes on. And I get back in and I'm like limping around. It was pathetic. I'm like hobbling around. I'm running late. I had to text my boss. I'm going to be late. Oh my gosh. I set my alarm wrong. 
and now I've stubbed my toe on my dog and I'm pretty sure it's broken. I can't believe this happened. It's still healing. This was like four weeks ago that this happened and it still hurts to wear certain shoes. Like I can pretty much only wear slippers and Uggs and it not hurt. Anything else that puts any sort of pressure on the side of my toe hurts. And this happened on the same day as Alan Jackson. So I had to then go to his concert, hobbling around with my Ugg boots on. Luckily, next the next week, I took a lot of medicine and I forced my feet into my cowboy boots to see Brad, but oh my goodness, it hurt. My whole toe per turned purple. I got bruising on the top of my foot. I mean, just the weirdest thing ever. How, I mean, everyone laughs at me when I say, I stubbed my toe on my pug. It's a freaking pug. They're squishy. Let me see if I can find her. Franny, come here. I mean, she's a favorite every month, but it was definitely an unfavorite that I stubbed my toe on her. This is my little spaz pants, Francis. Her tongue always hangs out of her mouth. I know you're all gonna ask, it's always out. She's really sleepy right now, so she's not looking her best with her ears back, but she's my sweet little puppers, and I forgive her for breaking my toe. But that was definitely my unfavorite of February. <sighs> And do you hear her snorting? I don't know if you can hear that, but she's a noisy little girl and she's not happy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, let me know down below what your favorites are. And if you filmed a favorites video, definitely um, link it below. I'd love to check it out. If I haven't subscribed to you already, let me know what your channel is so I can subscribe. I love, 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 you know, spreading the love, finding new YouTubers. I'm having so much fun doing this. I really appreciate everyone who's watched and left comments. You all are so, so sweet. So I will definitely see you all in my next video. And I hope you have a great night or day or morning or whenever you're watching this. Bye, guys.